Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Work that I can't show, stuff from work that I can't show, stuff from work that I can't show. I think I'm gonna have to shred this. This one is getting the true death sentence. I'm gonna keep this because I also really liked how it turned out. Hello, bitches. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought I'd just do something fun and casual and productive for my living environment, and that is cleaning out and decluttering some of my old artwork from art school. And I know I've done sketchbook tours in the past of my old artwork that I did as a student. However, this one is different because it's more of like stray pieces of paper that have been sitting in folders, file organizers, and just tucked away in my closet. And I feel like it's time to decide what the fuck I'm gonna do with them and just Marie Kondo out of that shit because it's just time to be an adult and move on from the past. And now with the power of technology, I can just take a picture of them, keep the image of the thing that I drew and not have to keep the physical form of it because let's be real, I haven't touched any of these drawings in five plus years and the likeliness of me ever really needing to dig them back up physically is very unlikely. But first let me show you where I've been keeping these pieces in the first place. So this is my laundry room, hello. And this is pretty much a little cabinet where I keep many things. And let's see, finance stuff, artwork, personal. It's probably this one. <laughs> So yeah, let's dive deep into this little file organizer. I've also had this life drawing folder hidden in my closet. So let's check out this too. So here is my life drawing folder in which I will just leave right here until we need to use this. And here is just my little file organizer of my personal art and old art from school. So. Let's start interrogating them. On this table, I'm just gonna make a pile here for keep and here for throw out. And looking back at the amount of work that I have, it really does not take up too much space in the house, but I feel like that's how everybody starts off thinking is, oh, it's not taking up that much space, so let's just keep it. And then over the years, you're just gonna start accumulating it without really realizing it. So might as well start now and take preventative measures. All right, so first, this is a manila folder of just good memories from people, so I am keeping this. And then here is just more memories, so I guess these manila folders are safe to stay. But I know these folders for sure is where all of the magic is gonna happen. So starting with this folder, I have this drawing, which is I think from my life drawing class. And honestly, this one I'm gonna have to say is gonna have to go. And then next is this life drawing on black paper. While I think it's really cool and stuff, I think this has to go. And then next I have a random collection. So this is kind of like a collection of drawings that I did as a commission for somebody where they were creating a brand that involved this dark angel or fairy or something like that. So, but unfortunately I do think these drawings have to go because I have not looked at them for the past three plus years or so. Then next I have this illustration that I did for my illustration class, but again, I have not looked at this in years, so I guess I'm gonna throw it out. And then here is a big illustration I did. This was a drawing that I did for my illustration slash life drawing class. It was kind of a mix of illustration and life drawing because it was more focused on like the techniques of illustration but using life drawing as your subject. I actually don't remember this illustration until I pulled it out, which means probably did not need it and probably won't need it in the future. So I am probably gonna have to throw it out, but I will take a quick photo of it. So life drawing, gonna throw out. Life drawing, going to throw out. I think about life drawing, honestly, I can just take a picture of it and throw it out. But yeah, these were just some very extreme poses that we were doing in my illustration slash life drawing class. I do think that these drawings are good, so that's why I'm gonna just keep the photos of them. So maybe one day I can compile them into like a digital sketch or something, you know? So yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, moving on. This is an illustration I did of a flying fish. I don't remember what this was, but I think it was about like creating your own creature or something like that. That's actually a pretty cool class topic to have actually. But unfortunately, again, this is gonna have to go because I don't really remember it. Just a life drawing straggler. This is another thing I did for the creature creation class topic. Honestly, these illustrations are actually pretty good. Maybe I shouldn't throw them out because I actually spent time coloring them. And how often do you really see me coloring them? 
all right, fine. I decided that I will just keep the colored ones because it's such a rare occasion for me to really color anything. All right, so these are just some doodles that I kind of did pre-succubishes. And then for any of you who remember this time in life, I did this sci-fi story that I just kind of did with my friends called Sin, S-Y-N. These were some doodles that I did for them in class when I was just doodling and stuff. But unfortunately, they're also gonna have to go. This is a good, perfect blank sheet of paper. So I'm gonna keep it. All right, then next I have these life drawings that I did, which actually, these actually look pretty good. All right, so this is the first side of a girl wearing a onesie or a unicorn onesie, apparently. On the other side is like a dog or a wolf. I actually really like this and I think I'm gonna keep it because it does feel a little bit more finished than the other ones. Oh my gosh, did I think that this was class material? <laughs> so I thought that these were actually materials that we got from class to like learn from because they looked so structural and almost like they were printed on paper so I thought it was from class but these are actually my own drawings. But unfortunately, I'm still gonna throw them out because I feel like I don't really have a use for them and I have not looked at them in years. So next I just have a sheet of doodles that I did in class and for some reason the day I did this was just such a specific and memorable day in my head but I still think I'm gonna throw it out because you know if my brain was able to remember it and I still see this and I took a picture of it I have three times the memory for this one sheet of paper now. And then here I have these really cute bat and wolf doodles. Honestly, I don't remember why I did these. Despite how cute they are, I'm gonna have to throw them out. The next, I have more Sin, S-Y-N drawings. The good thing about having black and white drawings is that anytime you take a photo of them, they do look almost like they're scanned if you just adjust the brightness and contrast or the levels of them when you edit them on Photoshop or whatever. So that's one pro of having black and white drawings. And then next, I have the script for my third year film where basically whenever I was with the voice actors or actresses, I kept this with me and I would write notes next to each line or what to say to the actor or actress to tell them what to do more of. And since that time in my life is over, it's going to the trash. Okay, so we made it through one side of the folder. Now I have a whole other side to get through. So let's try to get through this quickly. Just a little doodle of a naked girl and I think I'm gonna throw this out. Wow, these are some very intense life drawings, which I actually think are pretty good. So I have this collection of life drawings and honestly, at first I was gonna throw them out, but I decided that I'm gonna keep them because I was just like, how often do you really see me do these types of completed illustrations that are this imaginative and complex? Ooh, I don't know why this piece of paper is just nice. It's just like a baking sheet paper. I don't know why, but I'm gonna have to keep that. Ooh, I kind of like these drawings. They're kind of cute and orange, but I think I'm throwing that out. Blank sheet of paper, keeping that. Blank sheet of paper, keeping that. Compilation of blank pieces of paper in which I will keep. Here are some doodles of yours truly, but why keep them when you have the real thing right here, you know? So here are just some more extreme posed life drawings in which I'm gonna throw out. Oh my God, I can't believe, like where the fuck do I draw these? I don't even remember where I drew these things from. Like, I don't know if this is from a video game. Like sometimes I'm amazed at myself and I'm like, how the fuck do I draw this, but then draw this at the same time? Honestly, I think I'm gonna keep this one because for some reason I don't see myself drawing things like this anymore. And if anyone ever feels like I'm just a person who draws kawaii shit only, I'm gonna just pull this one out and be like, bitch, what did you say to me? All right, blank sheet of paper so I can keep that. All right, so first let's just get this cowboy bitch out of the way. He said, hello, bitches, hello, bitch, but also bye, bitch. <laughs> All right, so I have a huge collection of drawings that probably came from the same life drawing session. Unfortunately, after looking through all of them, I really don't think I'm gonna keep these, so just enjoy this very quick montage of the drawings. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Thank you for the memories. You have taught me a lot in life. So thank you. I wish you the best in your next life. I hope someday we are reunited through the form of some product made from recycled goods. Or maybe if somebody just digs you up from the recycling bin or something, 
they'll appreciate you and want to hang you up. So I don't know. Just good luck to y'all's futures. Bye. Okay, so we are done with this purple folder in which honestly, I think this is also going to have to go too because it's so dirty and full of charcoal. And you know what? I'm just going to recycle that as well because I really don't think I'm going to use that folder in the future. Okay, so next I have this dark gray folder. I have this drawing that I did of myself as Arlo. Honestly, I think I want to just keep this because this is a memory from work. Then here, I just have a collection of my resume from Portfolio Day that I guess never really went to use. And this also has personal information on it. This is also now irrelevant information because it's based off of when I never even interned at Cartoon Network yet. So like my fucking high school experience is still on this. I think I'm gonna have to shred this. This is gonna have its own pile. This one is getting the true death sentence. Ooh, perfectly good post-its. <laughs> I'm keeping that. Again, more perfectly unused paper other than this random thing. I have the thumbnail slash storyboards that I did for my third year student film. I actually think I'm gonna keep these because they look pretty nice for thumbnails. All right, this is just scrap pieces of paper, a syllabus, and yeah, this folder is actually still in pretty good shape, so I'm gonna keep this one. This is the test that I did for Trash Truck. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm allowed to show this, but this was my first test that I got for a storyboard revisionist position for Trash Truck. I won't show the prompt, but I'll show like the thumbnails I did for the test in the back. This is not the final product, of course. This is just me brainstorming. But I remembered I took this test so seriously, I highlighted words, I underlined words to just really know what the director is looking for. And I was just like so fucking anxious about this test because after so many rejections, after graduating, I was just like, I really hope that this is not going to turn out to be a, reje a rejection. So I really did my best in all possible ways to make sure that I did my very best. And I did and I got accepted. So I'm going to keep this for the memories. These are just drawings I did of me and my mom. And then there's a quote on this poster that says, we live in a world that values getting on with it or relentless positivity, which damn, that's pretty true. But I think I'll just keep these for the memories. All right, then here I did some explorations for my graphic novel. I really don't think that this is spoiling anything, so I think it's okay to show. But here are just some of my characters for the upcoming graphic novel that I'm in the middle of working on and will come out in now, I believe, 2023. So yeah, these are just some explorations I did for it. And I think for now, I am just gonna keep these just because I could use these for a future like behind the scenes. Okay, and then here I just have a compilation of drafts of my graphic novel that I was working on and which I'm gonna keep because again I just think I'm still in the middle of working on this project and I want to keep all the behind the scenes material while I can and in the scenario that I do want to make a behind the scenes book or something like that. All right, but over here I do have some thumbnails of one of my sequences from Arlo in which I guess is okay to show. Okay, so these are pretty much my thumbnails for when I was brainstorming like the second part of Ansel's flashback when he was like a young adult walking, working in Wall Street or whatever. I did the part of him growing up and turning into this young, young working man and up to the part where he met Arlo's mother for the first time. So these are just my thumbnails for that sequence and I think I will keep it for the memories. And then here were just some other thumbnails that I did for the ending of Arlo, which is where he dances with all his friends and he's like, we all need someone to hold us up. All right, then next I have some more stuff from work that I don't think I'm allowed to show yet. Stuff from work that I can't show, 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 and more stuff from work that I can't show, so, um, yeah. Then here I have perfectly good unused black card stock in which I will keep. And then finally, it is time for the life drawing folder. Woo! 
first I have this drawing pad that has been detached from its cover and is a little bit warped as you can see but it is still perfectly good unused paper so I'm keeping it. Wow this, is, this paper has aged. I think this is the original cover for that. Okay so first I have this little bookmark thing that I drew. I think we had an illustration class where we were told to just pretty much draw on this small narrow long piece of I don't know if it's cardboard or what but I actually really like this and I could use it as a bookmark so I'm gonna be keeping it. Then next I have this big compilation of drawings. I forgot what film this was but we just basically watched films in class and were doing life drawings and illustrations based off of the film so we would pause the frames and just draw what we're seeing and this is what I made and I actually really liked how this came out so I'm going to keep it. Next I have another drawing which is the same thing where we were just watching films and just drawing based off of the film and you know I think I'm gonna keep this because I also really liked how it turned out. The next I kind of have a, con a continuation of that other bookmark thing that I drew in which I'm also gonna keep this because I just think this is so unique. Anyway that was pretty much everything that I found in my life drawing folder and my little file organizer and again even though these things didn't really take up that much space to begin with in my house I just know that this is something that will build up over time and I can always use these photos for a future art book or something like that where I have all of them compiled into one singular book instead of just this fucking hot mess. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're ever interested in seeing all of these sketches combined into a digital sketchbook or even a physical zine or book, let me know. Also, in case if any of you saw this, this was a new $500 tattoo that I got. Just kidding, it's actually a fake stick-on tattoo that I did as a joke. I actually really like the way it turned out, so maybe in the future I'll get a full sleeve, who knows. Anyway, just a heads up, if you're watching this the week that this video is posted, next week I am actually going to be away on a trip to Joshua Tree to just get away from life and work for a moment, so I will not be posting a new video next week, but the week afterwards, I will be posting a new video where I showcase my time in Joshua Tree, but how I approach drawing from life and memories because I get a lot of comments saying, how do you draw in real life? How do you draw in front of people? How do you, you know, actually draw from observations of life? How do you do that? And I figured that would be a very fun project to do where I showcase how I actually live life and draw from the life that I lived. So that will probably be a video two weeks from now, but just again, next week I will be out on vacation. Thanks for tuning in into this week's video and I will see you all in two weeks from now. So peace out and stay wholesome, bitches.